Hello guys, who here, back with another video, this time around showing you guys how to make 800 of the new currency, the dual currency that is in the Delves right now as the thumbnail says. So uh, it's not really clickbait, uh, I did do this in an hour, uh, maybe a little bit in an hour, as, and I, as you can see I have 800, I actually have more, I actually got more than that, uh, but I couldn't just carry more, so I actually got a little bit more and it just drops on the ground unfortunately. Uh, if you are in a group with somebody, you can always uh, jump out of the uh, private delve that I'm showing today, and you can be invited back and then you can you know keep continuing just not everybody leave at the same time and then you can go buy whatever you want to in the um, in the in the house there that I'm going to show you in a little bit how to how to do all this and then I'm going to show you like the method or the tips and tricks above it and show you guys also a run that I am doing as well so with that said let's jump into how you are going to create these so in the hub uh, you have the little house here the little Bomber Real house here it's been uh, thrown over here for now because you got the big delve house which is here this is also where you got your um your public delve queue uh, and this is for private of course but right over at the left you got the crafting table also you can donate don't do that uh, unless you already have a lot uh and also here you can buy whatever you want to here you can also buy your wallet to upgrade and stuff like that and i've covered that in multiple videos but it's always showing it and here is your, your new uh thing you're going to craft the I guess the vacuum of some sort. I haven't used it really a lot and here's of course how you upgrade an IT upgrade mine as well. But uh, over here on the left you do have your crafting bench and this is what you're going to use the most. This is also a way to donate uh, and you can also you can craft your, your keys if you get more ca keys. But here you craft your private mode or private delve gateway. And I'm showing you how it looks when I get to the club world. And I also have a friend that's going to help me out. I'll show you the tips and tricks. But you need 20 of the new geode. You can get the geode in the private ones. So you never have to really go into a public one as long as you have 20. But if you go below 20, you are do have to go to the public ones. And the public ones are a little bit effy, uh, just saying. But uh, you need 100 flux and also 100 crystal. But you, of course, you can get that in the geo caves. You don't have to get them in the delve, which you also can get there. These other ones are, of course, to challenge modes. Uh, these two here, but I'm not going to cover those. Uh, that's a whole different thing. Uh, well, more or less, more or less. Um, and yeah, that's just going to show you how you're going to do that. And all the other things I'm covering, uh, I've covered in other videos and stuff like that. So check those out if you haven't seen them. So with that said, we now know how to craft the, the private delve. And I'm just going to show you in the next clip here um, how you are going to enter it. And there's a little bit of a trick to it. And how you are going to be able to make 800... Uh, you know, of these geo currency in our depending on your level. I don't know if it scales with the level, uh, but it seemed to be a little bit more when you got later on. But yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll get to you'll you'll see that when you get. But you are going to be at one point getting 800. Also, I increased my limit to 800. That's why I can have 800 because I bought the wallet uh, for 200 extra. Uh, you can actually buy more. Sorry, I can actually buy more here if you want 200 extra. If you want to do that. Um, some people also ask me how you are going to get uh, the, this one down here, the, uh, the, extra, the extra free wallet. You go down to your, uh, here we're going to go into the batches and under the uh, play, ga uh, play game, gameplay batches, down here there is something called delves. And as you can see, I've already done nine, I actually done 47. So I'm a good ways to the 250. So that's going to be quite easy to get. And then under the 500, under the 500 uh, challenges delves, you are getting the coin of the obsidian delver. That is the one you want. So under there, there's a lot of people asking where you're going to get this coin, but it's under the badge. So you do have to do 500 of those, which is pretty crazy. And then you can get extra free uh, 200 slot, uh, but else you can buy them in the, you know, in the store here. I don't know if there's a limit to how many you can buy. Uh, I would I would doubt that what is one. Uh, I only have 450, so I can't buy another one. So, but I can, you know, show you guys that there's an expander for 200 extra, so you can get up to, I guess, whatever you really want to get. Uh, I guess it's kind of like the same with the inventory expander. You know, at some point you're just gonna be like that. So, with that said, uh, enough rambling about crafting. Let's jump into what you really want to see, and that's of course how you get into all of these. So, I will catch you in the club world. 
All right, guys, we are now in the club world. Uh, I don't think it specifically has to be in the club world that you place these private down. I think you can do it whenever you want or wherever you want to. Uh, you just have to place it down. I got Rec to help me. He's one of my moderators, both on Twitch, but also on Discord. Shameless plug for both of them. But he's going to help me out showing the little trick you can do with a lower character coming into uh, or going into putting down the levels of the delve as a private one. So first of all, I talked about how you are going to craft these private delves, but then you basically just go into your build mode and you place it down in your, uh, your bar there. And you of course select it. And the character you select it on, uh, I'm using my fake trickster. That is, uh, I've taken all the gear off. Uh, I can quickly, quickly can show you. I took all, all the gear. So the one you sign up with is the one that's going to be the start level and then when people sign up through that you can invite people and stuff like that and then it is going to increase so i'm going to place mine down and you i don't think you can change yours uh i i'm gonna try but i'm pretty sure it like uh remembers which ones you have been signing up with but anyways enough with that let, let me put it down uh if i could do so there we go and now it's going to start at 89. It's going to stay to start at 89. And in a bit, I'm going to ask Rec to sign up. As you can see, there's a thing above my head means that I have uh, signed up. Rec hasn't done yet. He hasn't the thing above that. He signed up with his character right there. So it's increased to 91. So if we enter now, it'd be only 91. And we can switch into a higher character. I'm going to switch to a higher character. And it did not change. Uh, but the thing is, you do have to be... Uh, you know, you, you can't be on this character or you have to be on the character you signed up with, you know, and then you have you can first switch when you go into. So now I'm going to ask Rec to unsign for the queue and then he's going to jump on a, a, his highest character and he then is going to, you know, sign up with that. So it was now it's going to be at 112. You see that? So it's going to be that high and you can basically get the same out of it. Doesn't matter. You, you will in the end get better rewards. But if you're just farming currency as this kind of trick is, this is what it's all about. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And then in a little bit, I will do this uh, delve myself and you guys can check out uh, the, you know, what a delve basically is. So thank you to Reg for, for helping me out and I'll see you in the delve. All right, guys, I now entered with the uh, small guy here, if you can call it the little fate trickster. And now I'm going to, you can see it's still uh, 89 as it was when I signed up. And when I switched to this guy here, nothing had changes like this is still going to be the same and up here you have the objective so you have to kill these 41 uh you know creatures before you can you know go to the boss and up here is the bo boss meter if you can call it like that every single of these is a room and sometimes it's a room you have to do and sometimes it's like do a skull thingy curse skull thingy like thing and doing that uh, but we are just going to farm it very, uh, very slowly and we have plenty of time. So I'm just going to show you that these enemies are going to take less damage. So there is uh, these modifiers on them. There's also some enemies increased health, damage and stability. So stability is, of course, it's not going to back. And enemies take no damage from attacks when uh, more than five blocks away. So uh, you have to be really close to some of them. So the mods are all changing and all sw switching around. Uh, so I have six minutes to get to the boss and also, you know, reach the curse skulls, which is, of course, the boss in the end. I'm going to switch really quickly to my fate trickster. So I uh, put on his, the person's gear again. And of course, you can go even lower, taking off the gems and stuff like that. But it's really not necessary, um, depending on what your class is. So I'm just going to go through really, really kind of quick, uh, slow. And as you can see over at the side, I've already made three of the new uh, you know, currency. And there's also delve uh, or geo cave uh, as things like I can switch build mode, for example, here. And now I can basically uh, just do some of these here uh, blazings that's here. And, and if you feel you, you know, like you have enough time, you can go and do that. You can also bomb it, by the way, you can also bomb it. Uh, so if you have a person, for example, doing this, and the person can just go around bombing it and somebody can kill it. And just remember to go as a group because you can go too far away from each other. So you won't like get uh, the things. There's also crystals and stuff like that. And I can use my barrier even and switch back to my build, uh, you know, attack mode, if you can say it like that. So yeah, go together as a group because there is a range on when you are going to receive uh, things or receive the, you know, as you can see, I got a binding there. I got a bomb. I got some more currency and you can just keep going. And I think you are going to make enough 
Uh, it only cost 20, as you saw when I was doing the other, um, what you call it? Um, what is the thing called? Uh, when I was showing what it, how you build the private one, basically. Um, and also the drops a few items. Uh, again, this you can see, I pressed escape and I can see this is only Uber 7, so this is really, really low. But I'm still getting the currency and it's super easy. Uh, of course, depending on what your power rank is, it, it will be even easier. Uh, but I suggest no matter what your uh, your highest character is, I suggest doing that method of doing like your lowest uh, character to sign up with and just go through it very easily. And again, you have I have four minutes to get to the boss. See, I've already completed killing 41 monsters. So I just have to go to the boss now if I wanted to. But I'm clearing out all these uh, enemies because they're still dropping things. If you were more than one and somebody rushed to it and you did... The objective the first thing about killing everything uh it will tell it would give you like hey you want to teleport here but that kind of you know obstruct the attempt what we're trying to do here also i don't feel like there's that many monsters in this one the higher ones there's a lot more i feel but i think it's it's random uh but i'm fine with this this is you know super super easy and i can just run through it very really quickly and i'm you can see i've cleared all every room when it turns blue that means that i have uh you know uh you have, um, I've cleared that room and sometimes you have to clear rooms as well that's some of the objectives uh, but yeah and you just go f f really slowly because I when you get to the boss it, you'll, you'll see that um, you will get three minutes uh, all all the delves has three minutes no matter what the challenge ones the public ones you have three minutes to kill the last boss um, and that's uh, so so no matter how long time you have as the last thing, you just have three minutes, which is pretty, pretty nice. So if you're even like getting there to the last, see, I, I even missed a, I missed a, I missed a one behind here. That's, oh man, that would have been looked good for the video. <laughs> oh, well, I, oh, I'm in that room now. Let me see where I missed one. Where did I miss one? Oh, he's over there. He's over there. I see him. I see him. Uh, I got it. And then he is also there. Don't worry about that sound, by the way. <laughs> that was me rendering a video that I just uh, done. Sorry if, if the, that cat caught on the video as well. <laughs> uh, that was just uh, saying it was done. Should have probably just taken the sound off. But anyways, okay, that is also... You can see now all of them is blue. And this is the way into the boss room. So now I'm in the boss room. And it says to activate this. There's a few, uh, you know, uh, whatever. There's here. And, and also the timer stops when I hear... So the diamond does not go until you activate the boss. So you can actually go around and do all these things if you want to. But let's let's start the boss and you can, guys can see what is going on. And you can't shoot this, but... Oh, you can. Oh, okay. I didn't seem like to be yesterday. Never mind. Uh, but it activates like everything else. I thought you had to press your uh, the E button to activate it. So you just do the boss. Of boom. And we are done. And this is the uh, pressure chest that is in the end. Um, this is the first floor I'm doing right after I uh, help erect help me. So the next floor will have this one as well. The third floor will have this here, but also a, a hard, well, not this one, but it's going to have a hard pressured, um, uh, chest and also the, the chest in the end of the shadow towers where you have to use a key where you have to use your delve keys. Uh, and also there is a little guy here come to the, oh, oh, to charge, charge this. Oh yeah, okay, this is the guy that charges it. I thought it was the quest guy. I think he might... Sometimes like, so there's a guy that, that does the... Um, that does the... Uh, what's it called? Um, there's gives you some uh, quests and stuff like that when you end it. But you just destroy it like you do like a chest. And then you are going to get some loot. And I'm apparently in here. And it's going to give you some standards. It's going to give you some banners and stuff like that. And in this, it's just, of course, because it's only U7, it's not going to give me anything like that. So to next, do the next one, to do 90... Uh, we are going to just, you just have to press this key, the ready station. The more people that uh, hits this uh, portal key thing, the faster it's going to generate the next floor. And over here, if you want to, you know, uh, loot collect stuff, that's how you do it. And also with these, you get the, uh, the, the kelp out of it. And just loot collect these real quick. You get the pressurized kelp, uh, cave kelp out of this. And for the higher ones, uh, or the, the, the better uh, banners and stuff like that, you are going to get the freeze uh or the crystallized uh things 
See, and also here the vulnerability takes additional damage from players. So there's a vulnerability on the boss. So I'm going to click this one here and you can see it starts completing. Because since I'm only one person in here, it's going to complete really quickly. And there we go. And it's going to summon the portal. There we go. And then it's already started, guys. That This is something I really kind of don't care for is that, um, you know, it starts already before you're like when this starts, then the next tier is basically going on. So if you are just like hanging out and somebody starts it, it will just, you know, use that time. But you actually go in instantly, which is really nice. And then you got the new, see this one is like some other uh, vulnerabilities. And now we are 90. It always go one floor. I don't think it goes like uh, with jump floors, uh, it, depending on how fast you are. But uh, that was a Dell run. I hope you guys got, found it very informational and yeah, I'm not really not going to talk very much more. I think it's just, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Goodbye.